fifth graders, today's topics are subtraction, decimals, measurement, and multiplying decimals. And we're going to get started with subtraction. We're going to do number one together, and number one is just like the basic subtraction problem. And number one gave us, or gives us, 1,898 minus 679. So we're going to write that out, but it's going to be in the vertical version and not the horizontal version. So we're going to make sure that all the numbers line up. So it's 1,898 minus 679 and um when we're subtracting like this we we always have to make sure that the number on top is greater than the number on bottom so as we see here nine and nine is greater than seven eight is greater than six and one is greater than zero but when we look at the ones place eight is less than nine and that's going to be our problem so the way the way that we can fix this problem is by borrowing from this nine right here, the tens place. So we're gonna borrow not we're gonna borrow a ten, and this nine is gonna turn into an eight, and this eight is gonna turn into an eighteen because it's gonna be eight because we borrowed ten from here, and we're gonna add that to the eight and we get eighteen. Oops, that looks like a six. Let me draw it again. Now we get eighteen minus nine, and we know that that's nine. And when we look at this, when we look at the tens place, we have to look at the 8 now. And 8 is greater than 7, so we don't have to change anything. So it'll just be 8 minus 7, which is 1. And 8 minus 6 is 2. And 1 minus 0 is just 1. So our final answer for number 1 will be 1,219. And that's going to be our answer for number 1. Now let's look at number 6, where it gives us a blank space right here. And once again, for that blank space, we're just going to put a variable so it makes the equation much easier. So we're going to put an x, and that's what we're going to have to solve for. So number 6 gives us x minus 719 equals, equals 3395. And the we want the x to be by itself. So right now, in order to get x by itself, we have to um, we have to add 719 to the other side. So we're gonna have to add 719 right here, and we're gonna add 719 right here, and we have to add it tw twice because um, minus and positive they cancel out. However, if we do it to one side, then we have to do it to the other. So that's why we add 719 on the, the, the sum side. So now on the left side, we have x, and then the equal sign just goes down. So it'll be x equals, and on the right side, we had to add. So 5 plus 9 equals 14, so we're going to put 4 right here. We're going to bring up the 1, and 1 plus 9 is 10, and 10 plus 1 is 11. So we bring the one here, and we bring the other one right here, and you get one plus three, which is four, and four plus seven, which is eleven again. So we're gonna put one there, and we're gonna bring up the one, and right here is gonna be a zero, so it's gonna be just one plus three, which is four. So our x or our missing number will be our missing number is four thousand four hundred. I'm sorry, four thousand one hundred fourteen. And if you want to check your answer, you can always um, do that by subtracting um, 4,114 from 3,395, or you could add 4,114 plus 719, and you should get 3,395. Oh, I'm sorry, not plus. You subtract, I'm sorry. Now let's move on to decimals. Um, um, for decimals, when you add decimals, you just need to make sure that all the decimals are lined up, like the decimal places. So number five gave us 0 0.102 plus 0 point. So we're going to make sure that the zeros are aligned. I mean, sorry, the decimal points are aligned. Zero. 0 0.03 and since we're missing a number here we're just going to put a zero so now it becomes 2 plus 0 which is 2 0 plus 3 which is 3 
1 plus 0, which is 1, and then we're, gonna, we're just going to bring the decimal point down, and then 0 plus 0, which is just 0. So our number for num our answer for number 5 will be 0 0.130, I'm sorry, 132. And so when you're finding the sum, you just need to make sure that the decimal points are all aligned. And disregard that it's its product right here because all of these are adding, so you're going to find the sum. Okay, so measurements. Measurements, they gave us that one yard equals three feet and that one foot equals 12 inches. And we're going to use that um, depending on the problems that they give us. So we're going to do number six together where they give us three inches and then we need to find out how many feet go into three inches. So we're going to put, we're going to make this into like a proportion slash fraction. So we get three inches and we're trying to find how many feet. So we're going to put um, x for feet. And we know that um, 12 inches equals a foot. So we're going to put 12 right here, 12 inches over 1 foot. Now we just need to cross multiply. So we're going to cross multiply right here. And we're going to cross multiply right here. So we get 12 times x. And then we bring down the equal sign. And then we do 3 times 1. And we get 12x equals 3, right? Because 3 times 1 is just 3. And then we want the x to be it by itself. So we're going to divide 12 on both sides. And we get x equals 3 over 12. However, this could be simplified because 3 can go into 12, right? So it's going to be x equals one fourth and then we're going to put feet because that's what we're looking for so your answer for number six will be one fourth fit on um, one fourth of a foot and we're going to do number nine together number nine gave us 58 feet and we're trying to find how many yards goes into 58 feet so we get 58 and we're gonna once again use x for yards because that's what we're gonna be trying to find and we know that um, three feet equals one yard so we're gonna put three feet on top and we're gonna put one yard on bottom and we're gonna cross multiply so we're gonna cross multiply here and we're gonna cross multiply here so we get 3x or 3 times x equals 1 times 58 and we know that it's just going to be 3x equals 58 and once again we want x by itself so we're going to we're going to divide 3 on both sides so we get x equals and we're going to divide so let's do 3 on the outside and 58 on the inside 3 can go into 50 uh 3 can go into 5 one time so we get 3 and then we get 28 and we know that um, 3 can't go into 28 but the closest would be um, not 6, not 7, but 9 because 9 times 3 equals 27 so we're going to get Um, we're gonna get we're gonna get one, so we're gonna get nineteen and one third. So this is just an improper fraction. You could either um leave it as nineteen and one third um I'm sorry yards, or you can um just leave it as the improper fraction, as fifty eight over three. Cause as we can see here, we couldn't simplify it fully. Either way works, but leaving it as an improper fraction is easier. Now let's do multiplying decimals. Um, once again, we're just gonna multiplying decimals. Um, you usually just um, multiply how you usually multiply regular numbers, but as we can see here, all the numbers that they give us was one thousand one hundred and ten, and that's all they give us. So Let's do number 
9 together, they, they, they give us 0 0.447 times 10. And when you're multiplying by tens, hundreds, thousands, we're just going to look at the, the, the amount of zeros that they have. And we see that 10 has exactly one zero. So we're going to move this decimal point to the right once. So zero, so that 0 0.447 times 10 should equal 4.47. Now, this is just the easy way of multiplying when it comes to like multiplying by tens, hundreds, thousands. Um, you can always do the long division, but this is um this is like a hint slash like secret. Now let's go on to number 10. Now that we know the rule, we get 79.6 times 100. Now, unlike number 9, 100 has two zeros, so we're going to use that as the decimal places. So we're going to move the decimal point to the right twice. So it's going to look like 79.6, and we see that we have two zeros, so we're going to move the decimal point to the right twice. One, two. And we put the decimal point here, and we're going to um, include a zero right there for the empty spot. So our final answer would be 7,000, oops, I'm sorry, 7,960. And that's it. So when you're multiplying for this particular web, I mean, worksheet, you just need to use this um, rule slash hint. And that's all I have for you guys today. I hope this video helped you guys a bit.